Will June 18th be Judgment Day for the Move Forward Party? The Constitutional Court is scheduled to begin its deliberations on whether to disband the party and debar its executives from politics for 10 years, following the court's ruling in January that they had attempted to overthrow the constitutional monarchy with their election campaign pledge to amend Thailand's last majesty law. Kim Tong Tonsukun a political science lecturer at Jalalongkorn University, commented on the party's decision to challenge the court's jurisdiction and authority to dissolve the main opposition party. He feels that the party is not trying to defend their election campaign pledge, but is pointing out the foundational flaws in terms of the constitutional court's jurisdiction and the election commission's complaint to the charter court. What they are trying to do is a very, very loyally approach to the case. Uh, they try to point out some uh, irregularities, some shortcomings of the, the case, uh, procedural unfairness to convince the court to, to, dismiss, to dismiss their case. And, and this is very important because they try to point out a very uh, foundational flaw of the constitutional courts way of doing things, which is the court always have a very low standard of proof. Constitutional court, often they try to, uh, they, they stick to the much lower standard, convincing uh, preponderance uh, standard of proof. Uh, so what uh, Move Forward trying to do is to point out that uh, actually in a, dissol a party dissolution case, the court has to raise the standard of proof up. It's not just like there's some convincing evidence, but the court has to prove beyond reasonable doubt that a move forward really like deliberately want to overthrow the democratic regime. So that's, that's how I read the, the defense. It's not a policy statement. There's nothing fancy about it. If you read it, uh, the, they didn't touch on like a less majestic, good or bad, why we should amend it. Like nothing, they tried to point out that uh, the election commission's procedure was wrong. The court need a much higher standard. In fact, the future of the Move For Party is not looking bright. Even though its chief advisor, Pitha Lim Rat, promised that they will come back stronger if the party is dissolved, the political science lecturer predicts that a rocky road lies ahead of them. So there's a, there's a much longer concern uh, in, into a future. If they are this bad, could they keep the team together, keep all the MPs together? Some of them might be swayed by like, offers from other parties. Some of them might be thwarted by like, a chance of legal actions, for example. And, and I mean, for the past decade, it has been shown that Pure uh, Thai couldn't withstand this kind of judicial harassment. They got disbanded twice as uh, Thai Rak Thai Party and People Power Party. And when they come to Pure Thai, they've never been disbanded, but there's always been threatened threatened by party dissolution and, and eventually they lower the they, they lower their stance, right? They they give in, they negotiate and, and eventually they they just submit to to the elite, uh, if you if you use that word, right? Uh, so so that's the much longer concern. People have to observe like, whether I like, move forward gonna fall, they're gonna give up, give in and, and, and become like another uh, Thai party. Right? So, so that's, that's the, the much longer concern. Party dissolution becomes a tool not to protect democracy, but become a tool for authoritarian leaders to suppress the opposition. Right? And, and Thailand's story follows this trajectory as well. I mean, you see that uh, all the democratic parties that have been disbanded. Let's go back to the beginning. The court has very low standard of proof. Um, the law is very harsh. Any minor infraction leads to party dissolution, so, so that leaves very little discretion on the court, right? But the court themselves is very not careful uh, about using that and, and try to expand the, the reading of the law. So, uh, given the history, I mean, I think a lot of people are convinced that uh, move forward going to be disbanded.
Meanwhile, a group of ASEAN parliamentarians have called on the international community to monitor the ongoing legal case against the Move Forward Party, stating that democracy in Thailand is backsliding due to dubious interpretations of laws employed to target politicians of the opposition camp. The chairman of the U.S. Senate Foreign Relations Committee also stated that he is deeply concerned over the Move Forward Party's case and urged Thai authorities to ensure fair treatment for the party and to respect the will of the Thai people who voted for its candidates. Nad Bunag reporting for Thai PBS World.